these tracks actually on both sides. Come on over so you can see yellow hash marks. Uh, and uh, from one set of yellow hash marks to the next set of yellow hash marks is 10 meters. Okay. Now, when you do the walking, uh, give yourself a little bit of a running start. Uh, and Colin, you be here, and you say go. Uh, and uh, Nate, why don't you go down to the next set of yellow hash marks, and you say stop. And Evgenia, could you be the timer? based upon the time uh, and the distance, uh, we can figure out the velocity, right? Because velocity uh, is distance divided by time. Uh, so 10 meters divided by 5.74. So Step length. Okay, so how many steps did you have? About 11. Okay, 11 steps, uh, 10 meters divided by 11 steps. 0.91. Okay, 0.91. Cadence is usually measured in steps per minute, but the arithmetic isn't too hard. Okay, uh, so we had, um, uh, first of all, 11 steps uh, and 5.74. Okay, so how many steps per second? Uh, 11 divided by 5.74. 1.9. So, uh, almost two steps per second, 1.91 times 60. 1.91 times 60. Um, 115. Uh, 115, 115 steps per minute. Okay, so uh, there are 
are five spots on each one. So we're going to do, that was what's called uh, free walking, which is a self-selected uh, or self-selected self uh, And then um, slow walking. So uh, show us slow walking now. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and do this in fact. How much time? 7.27. Okay, 7.27. Uh, so first of all, velocity, um, which is uh, 10 meters divided by 7.27. 1.38. Okay, 1.38 uh, meters per second. Yeah, this one. divided by 13. 0.77. Okay, so uh, 77 centimeters uh, for slow walking uh, compared to 91 centimeters per, uh, per step uh, for free walking. So what happens to the step length? Short. It's short.